What's going on guys? J Station back after wow, it's been at least a month guys. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice my voice sounds a little bit scratched up. Um let's hope it sounds better on the recording guys. It has been a long time. Um I'm finally back and I decided to do something a little bit different. Um we are in a somewhat different version of minecraft it is called exploration and basically it works the same as the regular minecraft only it's a more simplistic version it's got it doesn't have all the features like real minecraft does but it does have a lot of well it, it has a lot to offer basically so what i want to showcase is some of the things that i've been building um this last well few days actually so we're gonna start off with one of the maps that I've created it is a three-story house but there is so much to this house guys it is just I mean take it from me guys I have never been into Minecraft or anything like that I've never actually taken the time to play it learn it understand it I mean there are people they've created working computers and all that in Minecraft this is nothing like that, but it is pretty cool for somebody who's never really been into the game. So, well, the first thing you see here on your left-hand side is a waterfall. Kind of simple, you know, just to add a little bit of pizzazz, I guess, to the environment. So, basically, this is our house, and it is just enormous. It's got some ladders. This ladder doesn't really have a purpose because the roof is there. But I'm going to showcase this and just, you know, let's see where we go. Guys, like I said, it has been a month. Um, I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I've, that's been happening. First of all, I have moved. Uh, I am not living in Amsterdam anymore. And one of the reasons I haven't been doing live streams is because I did not have a suitable internet connection for the last three, four weeks. Which is basically, I moved and because of the transition I had to you know first of all I had to get a new internet connection everything is up and running again so I should be able to do live streams again kinda like I used to do but before I before we do that you know let's just get into this so basically this is our house and this is the first floor it is floating on water as you can see there's like water surrounding the entire perimeter of the house now this is a I guess a kind of like a porch area you know we've got a garden we've got a porch and this is a living room so we basically we've got a sofa we've got a little entertainment unit fireplace some books kind of your standard cabin like house now like I said this is not Minecraft as it is supposed to be this is exploration it's like a ripoff of Minecraft so let's see so we have a, a computer i guess you know it goes on and off we've got some light just to kind of add some you know warmth to this house because otherwise it's going to look so empty but i'm going to take you to the second floor which basically is the same thing only this is the bedroom now this is quite a large bed you know for one person or two uh we've got a little window sill here the windows do open obviously uh, we've got a little couch, bed, relaxing area. We've got a little desk. This is still part of the fireplace that goes all the way up to the roof. And if we go up here, we go to the third floor of this crazy big house. We've got a. This is my version of a toilet, guys. If you know a better way of making a toilet in this game, please let me know. Um, we've got a bath. We can actually get into the, get into this, so it's kind of funny. Um, but the thing is, these are doors. Uh, it, I didn't know any other way of creating a bathtub, so basically these are doors. But what happens if I open one of the doors? The water is going to spill out. So it's a good thing that we can close the door and kind of just forget about that. So we've got a little mirror area. We've got a shower cabin. You know, we can't really get into it, but it gives the idea of it being a glass shower. So, that basically, those were the three stories of this house. But there's a lot more. So, 
what we want to do is we want to go downstairs and this is all you know kind of random ideas that I've been having I've seen how people build stuff in this game and I'm like you know what I want to do the same thing so basically this is the let's look through the outside it's kind of hard to see because it's just so big that's what she said <laughs> I'm kidding. No, so this is the roof and it is a it is a slanted roof, obviously. But if we go up this side of the building, it takes us all the way to the roof. Now we can actually climb on top of the chimney and what you see is a door. Now this door has a purpose, obviously. It is a, a somewhat of a small living area. So we've got a bunk bed. It actually, this is my original idea. Um, I don't know if anybody else has used this, but I'm using it. So, you know, I haven't seen this anywhere, obviously. So we've got a double bed. Pretty cool. And actually what we can do, it's kind of unpractical, but if we open this window, we climb up. Oh, we've got a little porch. Now this gives us like a view of the map. And it looks pretty cool, actually. It kind of reminds me of, like, a mountain area. It's really, you know, really cool. So we can close this, and we don't actually have to... Wait, did we close the door? Yes, we did. So we can actually climb on top of this ladder, and it takes us all the way to the top of the roof. Now, if we jump straight down, obviously, we're going to fall into the garden. So what we're going to do is we're just going to walk down. We can see the top of the waterfall. I had to put these blocks there just to kind of prevent the water from, you know, going out past that point. So we're going to jump down. And uh, we've got this little walkway. And it's already turning nighttime, which is pretty okay, I guess. Now here, you see a stack of blocks right here. And we see, oh, we fall into the water. And you see a door. Now this door obviously takes us to a house another house which is really cool uh, let's see yeah so we've got the living room fireplace little computer unit something little couch everything built underground which is pretty good co pretty cool cozy little bedroom with a TV and we have a door here and this takes us into the bathroom again the same style uh, toilet shower mirrors basically your everyday bathroom now when we walk out let's close the door if we walk out through the same place we walked in it oh wow it went dark like within 10 seconds you see this enormous tower let's see now this is this took a long time to make guys it is I don't even know how tall this is. But if we go in here. Oh, wait. Are you guys ready for this? Alright, check this out. So we go through here. We have to jump down. Actually, because this is, again, floating in the middle of the water. If we jump down, we sink to the bottom. And you see this. This is the start of the tower. But I had to build a platform around it just to kind of keep it above the water. And that's what I did. I had to put a little window in there. So if we do this, let's close the door. Well, we can leave it open. doesn't really matter. If we see here, we have another door. And it is the same thing. It's a little sleeping quarter for the person who's like, like, yeah, the person who's operating this tower. Now this thing goes all the way to the top. It looks insane, guys. It's just so big. So... With that being said, let's just climb to the top, and it's gonna, I don't know, it's like f five or six floors, I'm not even sure. And this took a long time to build. Now this takes us all the way to the top. And that's when you get a view of the entire map, including the house. Which, again, it looks amazing, and, you know, it... It, it's 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 all right. It's not obviously it's not a working computer, but it is something I'm proud of. It's not complicated, but it is really cool. And I'm planning on adding a lot more to this map just to kind of give it a 
Yeah, just to fill it up a little bit, because it is a nice map. It, there's enough to do. There's a pretty open area right there, which allows... I know, I think I can make like a small cabin there with a road that just leads all the way back across the water to the main house. Or we could just build a house on top of the mountain or whatever. But, yeah, that's actually pretty much it for this map. Now, if we go to Menu and we go to select terrain we can actually choose some of the terrains that I've been working on so let's go to the second one now this is nothing too complicated it's a little you know closed off area mountain area and we've got a little cabin cabin in the woods it's really creepy but it's it's cozy there's not much to it we have a corner sofa with a TV, a fireplace, and a my attempt at a bu bunk bed. This is actually the first map that I started creating bunk beds on. And the one I just showcased was a more advanced version, I guess. Again, a really small shower, toilet next to it. It's really cozy. You know, it wasn't something I was really trying to put a lot of detail into, but considering its size it looks pretty good the proportions are okay so yeah let's take a look at the outside it's pretty much the same on both sides on all sides actually uh, let's see yeah there's not much to show off on this one but again it's a really closed off area we've got some water which actually I wanted to get rid of you know just like fill it up a little bit not too much because there it's quite a lot of water and I didn't want to make it too close to the main area. Let's see. Something like that, you know, like a little pond. We've got another one right there. Now, we can't actually get get out of this area unless we start climbing. But that's not really... There's nothing on this map except for this little cabin. So, let's go to the next map. And let's see what we have. Oh, yeah. This is pretty cool actually so this is a one of my biggest houses that I've ever actually created in this game um, I don't even remember what that is so don't even look at that uh, we've got a jacuzzi an open jacuzzi which is really cool it's pretty deep actually <laughs> if, if we stand in here it's like we're completely submerged now this house took three days to build or something. We've got like a couple of gardens. We've got some flower pods or whatever. We've got some pumpkins, if that's what they are. I'm not sure. Now let's take a look at the outside of the house before we start. So we've got a main area. I, I don't know what, what, what kind of houses are these. I guess it's a cross between European and American farm style, I guess. I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not an architect. <laughs> but this is the outside, basically. It's It looks really cool. It's quite impressive for a Minecraft house. Now, I tried to get the proportions just right. And it was really difficult because, yeah, Minecraft is limited to the number of blocks we're able to use. So I had to work on the corner, which it came out pretty good kind of what I expected. I've got some windows. Again, it's a real... And, oh yeah, this is pretty funny. So I actually fenced off this entire area, starting from there, and it ends, like, all the way over... Like, if we go past this tree, I think it ends, like, all the way over there. And it just runs all the way around the map. So let's see. Um, oh yeah, let's go inside. Now again, guys, I know it has been a long time, but the channel has still been alive. We have, I think, the last time I posted a video, we had 24 subscribers, and we are at 35 subscribers. So that's actually something to be proud of, guys. We have actually passed the 30 subscriber mark, which is yeah, you know, I'm proud of that. And let's see if we can keep growing, see if we can get bigger. I'm sure we can. And it's all thanks to you guys, so 
Thank you. <laughs> so again, living room, fireplace, little coffee table, really big open area with a TV again. I don't know, it's, I have something with TVs, don't ask. <laughs> so, again, I've got some flowers, some shelving units, oh yeah. This is the bedroom. We've got a computer with a mouse, a little plant, some bookshelves, the bed, again, just a simple bed, a chair, a TV, some art on the wall. I try to give the room a little... Yeah, I try to give it some detail, you know, because there's not much to put into these rooms, especially because it's not the actual Minecraft. So what I did was I just took random blocks and I just started messing around and see what I could get. So, let's see. This is the bathroom, shower, toilet, mirror. It looks straight through, actually. You can see through the outside. Looks pretty good. Now, this is only a one-story house, I believe. I don't think I have two stories. That's no, I only have one story because usually I have ladders everywhere. So it is a pretty large house, but it looks amazing, guys. It's like it, it has a cozy feeling to it. I really like it. I would be happy if this was my real house. Obviously, it's not. Oh, no, wait, I'm forgetting something. I, I almost forgot, guys. So actually, we have a little secret entrance right here. Now, if we go down. We actually have a little movie theater. Now, I didn't know what to use for the screen. So basically, we've got this large screen here. We've got some benches. So basically, we can see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 people. It's not, a, it's not big, but I mean, for a private, be for a private theater, it's pretty, pretty big. So yeah, that's, that's that. Let's see if we can get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right. Uh, let's see. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this map. So let's take it to the next one. Oh, yeah, we've got two entrances, obviously. Again, the roof is probably the one thing I'm mo mostly proud of. It's, it's It took a long time. It was really difficult, but I managed to get it. And if you look at it from a distance, it looks really cool. It looks really authentic. It looks like a house should. So let's go to the next map. Let's see. So we look through this one and that one. Let's go through this one. Again, open world. Nothing to see except for this tiny, tiny, tiny little house. Let's see. Same story. No need to explain. Only this house does not have a bathroom. Oh wait, it does. It has a shower. <laughs> it's got like one little shower shower cabin. One bed. TV. Still big enough for a living room. But again, it's really tiny. It's so tiny. That's what she said. I hope she never says that. <laughs> uh, let's see. So this is the outside. It's really, really simple. Now, uh, I actually, oh, I made a mistake on this one. All right, never mind. Let's forget it. So again, I, I think I kind of play it safe when it comes to houses. Only I do try to create different things, try to, you know, improvise, see what I can do. I try to use my imagination on some of these builds. And in the end, it turns out to be really cool. So we looked through these. Now let's look through the last house. Oh, I almost knocked something over. Let's look through the last house, guys. Again, this is also one of the biggest houses. Bigger houses. So let's take a tour through the outside. We've got a little fire pit. You know, roast some marshmallows, sitting with some friends outside. Really cool little roof area it's outside so it's you know you're gonna stay dry it's a little lounge area I guess for some of your friends now I do notice with a lot of my houses there's not a lot of um, windows but I mean I only have windows in the essential areas so we can actually go onto the roof there's nothing much to see 
basically the other side. You can actually see how I made the roof. And we could just jump straight down to the front door. Now, I believe this was a two-story house. Yeah, it was. It's a two-story house. So we have two doors. Pick a side. It's like Twix. <laughs> so we've got a couch. We've got... This is the lighting I use in this house. It's really bright. You know, you can actually turn them all off. And it still looks really cool. But I usually keep them all on. Like this, just to, you know, brighten everything. We've got one little TV, a large mm -hmm. coffee table. Mm -hmm. oh. Notifications from YouTube. Now this is the bathroom. It's the only bathroom in the house, I believe. We have a shower, a mirror, and a toilet. You know, really small, really simple. But for it being such a large house, we still needed a place to sleep. So with that being said, let's climb up these stairs. And strangely enough, we sleep in the attic. We have two small spare beds here in case we get company. And this is our main bathroom or <laughs> bedroom excuse me so yeah this is the bedroom this is a tiny little window so we can still get some fresh air um it looks really cozy well cozy it's pretty it's pretty long actually for a attic for a bedroom so we can actually fit a lot of things in here but i had to you know save some space because of the stairs it's a pretty big area and we still have two beds here. We've got some boxes to kind of make it look like it's an attic. So it doesn't look completely unrealistic. So we've got a little nightstand, a bed. Again, I might change some of these beds now that I think about it. Because I really like the original bunk bed idea. Um, it's really cool. Only not everybody has a bunk bed. So it's like, yeah, why would I have a bunk bed if it's just me? If I don't have any friends. I I have friends. Kind of. <laughs> so yeah guys. This is the last house that I have been working on. It looks amazing from the outside. The inside is also pretty good. And this is actually the very first build I ever made. Um, Let's see. Do we have any more? No. This was everything. So this was the last one I was working on. And if you notice, we've got four lights shining down, right? So actually, if if I do it right, this takes us all the way down to the bedroom. <laughs> or, well, yeah, the bedroom. But what I can also do is, let's see if it works. Let's say we fall down, right? So let's say I fall down. Oh no, I'm falling down. It's This is like the entire length of the building. But actually, if we delete one of these blocks, it takes us into the bedroom downstairs. But if this water wasn't here, I wouldn't be able to get out unless I destroyed the roof again. So this kind of gives us an escape hatch. But if this was real life, we probably would have drowned already because this is incredibly strange to swim. Really difficult. It's really, yeah, impossible. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Now, we don't have to use it. But the funny thing is, as soon as I close this off, the water disappears. So, if I delete these blocks, again, the entire column is empty. Which is pretty weird, but, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Not really. So, yeah, guys, that is actually going to wrap it up for this one. Again, it has been such a long time. It feels good to be back on YouTube. Um, I really want to keep doing it. You know, it's fun. It's fun for me. It's fun for you guys, I hope. So, with that being said, guys, remember, if you like this video, drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, so you never miss a single one of these videos again. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, night. Peace out. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.